These are not just catchy slogans. I never give up, and I never surrender. Hustle, loyalty, respect. There's always gonna be someone bigger or faster or meaner, but I make sure there's no one more determined than I am. There are times when I'm down, but I'm never out. I'm John Cena, and this is my Road to WrestleMania. I want you all to know that I'm very happy to be in New York City. And I'm sure to give Mr. Kennedy a fight he'll never forget. But that's not why I'm out here. I want to look for the future for a minute and talk about next week. Which is WWE's Tribute to the Troop Show. The WWE superstars are going to try to put some smiles on the soldiers' faces. And of course, we usually get many of those smiles ourselves. Last year, I met some good friends out there. And I'm hoping to see one of them again this time out. So until I see them personally, I'm dedicating tonight's match, where I'm going to give Kennedy the fight of his life, to Tony and the other men and women protecting the USA. You heard me, the USA, USA. John Cena comes out victorious. That should keep him in high spirits for the long trip to tribute to the troops. You know what will keep me in high spirits, JR? If I don't have to sit next to you for that incredibly long flight.
this is one of the most special nights of the year for WWE, our annual tribute to the Troop Show. We've been doing these for quite a while now, JR, but I feel blessed each time we come here and entertain the men and women who are protecting us. Tonight is for these soldiers. I wholeheartedly agree, King. It's an unbelievable feeling to be here. And this night is dedicated to these brave men and women. back to Raw. We're back in the good old U.S. of A. And I think I speak for all the WWE when I say we had a great time and tribute to the troops. There is someone you can't speak for, MVP. He took his loss to Cena a little hard. MVP has to realize you can't win them all, King. Cena beat me in tribute to the troops in front of this country's finest. But I'm filing a protest. I had sand in my eye, and the match should have been stopped. Then afterwards, everybody wanted to shake hands with Cena. Or get autographs from Cena. Or take a picture with Cena. John Cena is no hero. I'm better than him just like I'm better than everyone in the United States of America. I'm sick of being treated like less than the best. And I'm gonna do something about it. As of this moment, MVP is leaving the U.S. of A. Matter of fact, anyone else in that locker room who is fed up, come with me. This is the last time you're going to see MVP as a citizen of this country. 
I hear MVP right? He's leaving the country? I, for one, can't say I'm sad to see him go. We may have lost MVP, but as long as John Cena stays a U.S. citizen, I think we'll be okay. It's that type of attitude that made MVP leave in the first place, JR. You should be ashamed. Watching Monday Night Raw, our main event is a big tag team contest with some superstars who will be squaring off at the Royal Rumble. It should be a hot show. Speaking of hot, the Diva Search Contest is back on. WWE.com has hot photos of all the new contestants. Have you seen them, JR? Oh man, I almost phoned in sick to work today. We're all glad you decided to tough it out and show up, King. Now, Umanga, I know you will be competing against John Cena at the Royal Rumble, so perhaps you want to soften him up tonight. Meanwhile, I can handle that toe rag Jeff Hardy. Goroga! Isa! I'm going to assume that was a yes? <laughs> Bloody hell! It's like teaming with a savage wildebeest! Still, I'd rather be on your side than against you. John, if you don't quit tonight, neither will I.
contest. Can you imagine what's going to happen at Royal Rumble when Cena and Umaga go one on one? I can imagine it, JR. I've seen a lion fight an elephant on those nature shows. Make sure you don't miss the Royal Rumble, ladies and gentlemen. See you Sunday. against the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga. Please choose a ball to get your place in the Royal Rumble match. Die! Heal, you manga! Save your energy for that miserable John Cena! You have bigger fish to fry than this freak, you manga. Let's get out of here at once. to accompany you manga to the ring for your match tonight. It's more for your benefit than anything. Someone has to keep him from destroying you completely.
There goes Cena's movie star good looks. Oh no! Samoan Spike! What a disgusting display! I still don't get why that turncoat MVP is even here! Coming off a controversial Royal Rumble, ladies and gentlemen, MVP made his return to the United States. There goes the neighborhood, JR. I'm sure John Cena is itching to get his hands on those three assailants, but he's taking on Mr. Kennedy tonight. doing coming out here especially MVP wasn't he leaving the US for good I hereby claim this ring in the name of better than utopia I told you I was better than anyone so I decided to start my own country let me introduce my cat this is my chief of security. Ah. And this is my secretary of foreign affairs. And this is my world. John Cena, you don't exist in my world. In fact, none of you do. Three cheers for better than Utopia. And three cheers for the president. MVP. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Ballin'. MVP is your future problem, Cena. But if you overlook me tonight, you're gonna regret it for a long time. Long time. I hope Kennedy is happy. He got what he asked for. I think he was probably hoping to get the win, JR. Now Cena can focus his energy on MVP and better than Utopia.
for Monday Night Raw. And last week, you can say we were invaded. Sounds funny, JR, but those guys from Better Than Utopia don't seem like they're playing around. Umaga has a match with Jeff Hardy tonight. We'll see if his fellow Utopians will show up too. And to show that you truly understand your place in my world, you are going to kiss this. John Cena didn't back down an inch from MVP and the Utopians. I can't say that I agree with that strategy, JR. Cena could hold his own against one Utopian, but I think the three of them combined is too much for even him. When has Cena ever cared about the odds, King? He's as fearless as they come. between John Cena and the men of Better Than Utopia have threatened to boil over. At least it won't be three on one again tonight. That's right, King. Our main event will pit John Cena and Jeff Hardy against Umaga and William Regal.
Come in. All right, all right. At ease, soldier. Hey, it's good to see you, man. Hey, that's one way to get to come home, huh? Yeah, I should be up and around in a few weeks. So it's on tap tonight. I got this tag match in a minute. Hopefully I can put a dent in those better than Utopia guys. I gotta head out for that. But Mikase Sukasa. Feel free to chill and we'll hang after the match. Another setback for the Utopians. I'm sure MVP's not going to be too happy about this. Cena still doesn't understand that this is my world. Maybe you can help him get the picture. I need some help right now. Get a doctor. Thank you for joining us for Raw. This is Jim Ross and Terry Long broadcasting live. I can't believe the level MVP sunk to in order to get into John Cena's head last week. This was despicable, appalling. He not only assaulted a non-wrestler friend of Cena's, but one of our soldiers.
I'm sure you're sad to hear this, Cena, but me and the Utopians won't be at Raw tonight. I hear you want a piece of us, so let's make a plan to meet up at No Way Out on Better Than Utopian Land. We'll treat you like an honored guest. I have a pretty simple philosophy. You can punch me, kick me, hit me with a chair, whatever. It goes with the territory. But MVP, when you put your hands on Tony, you cross the line. You don't mess with the people who make sacrifices for this country, MVP. And at No Way Out, I'm gonna show you there are consequences for your actions. Bring your entire country. I don't care what kind of match or what kind of stipulation you throw at me. MVP, you and I are going to war. is going to have to be an army of one tonight. I, I come in peace. You might leave here in pieces. What do you want? Montel Va Vontavius Porter, president of Better Than Utopia, has some ground rules written into the contract for tonight's gauntlet. The match takes place in Better Than Utopia and will abide by the fo- In layman's terms, this basically says I'm screwed, right? Rule number one. I need a five count to pin a Utopian. But you guys just need a three count on me. Who am I, King Kong Bundy? Rule two, amid the ipsos and factos, says I can't use rope breaks. But you can. <laughs> That's very clever. Rule number three, I think says, Utopians can leave the ring at will. But I'll be counted out. Anything else? Nothing about Tying my hands behind my back? Well, there is one more bit of fine print. What does it say? All's fair in love and war.
inspecting your injuries after the locker room attack. I would seriously advise against you competing tonight. Not an option, Doc. John, as your doctor, I can't abide by you though. Then I recommend that as my doctor, you stay out of my way. Embrace that. Pucker up. So they may have won the battle, but I don't think you can win this war. My God, haven't these three done enough damage?
and welcome to Raw. We're one day removed from No Way Out, and there is one man who will never forget that night, John Cena. Cena practically had the world against him last night, JR. Revenge has to be on his mind. Well, I know Cena is not scheduled for accident tonight, King. I'm sure he can use the rest. Instead, the Intercontinental title will be up for grabs in our main event. Last night, your entire world came crashing down on all of you. There was only one man standing in the way of Better Than Utopia taking over. John Cena failed you all. As of this moment, this is my world, and you all serve me. Eventually, all of you will line up and kiss this globe. The same globe that John Cena put his lips on last night. Once you kiss this, you will be put in your place just like John Cena. You will realize that I'm better than you. I'm always gonna be better than you. They've hurt my friends. They took my pride. Now it's time to tear down Better Than Utopia brick by brick. And I'll start with the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. He's not gonna know what hit him. I wanna make sure I knock him out, so there's one less Utopian to worry about. This is one meeting your secretary couldn't handle, MVP. You won't know who's next, but I promise you this. I'm coming for you. Another exciting night of Raw. John Cena, after absorbing a lot of abuse by the members of Better Than Utopia, has gone on the offensive. I'm all for Cena getting revenge. If not for himself, then on behalf of the USA. But who is next on Cena's hit list? The Samoan bulldozer Umaga or the president MVP? It worked so well last week, let's have a repeat performance. Time to take out another Utopian so they know what it's like to be the hunted. I think it's best to go after Umaga after his match, then put him through a table. That should keep him off of Raw for a while.
MVP. It's just you and me, Mr. President. I'm coming to take over your world, MVP. The thing is, you can't see me. population of Better Than Utopia is rapidly shrinking. If I was MVP, I may consider staying in for the evening. He doesn't have much choice, King. MVP is booked in a match tonight. And since Cena put Umaga and William Regal on the shelf, Better Than Utopia's president is a man all alone in his country. I'm here with the so-called president of Better Than Utopia, MVP. So-called? You better be careful, Lord, when you're in my world, or even when you're not. And disrespecting the president can be considered an act of treason. I apologize, Mr. President. I wanted to get your thoughts on John Cena. You and John Cena forget something. This is my world, mine. Cena wants a game of one-on-one? -on -one? Well, tonight, I had a little extra help to handle Cena. In my match tonight, he'll be watching my back. And I'll be sure to come out with him to watch Cena have his world rock yet again. MVP is my final target. He'll get his tonight during his match with Jeff Hardy. What weapon should I bring with me?
He is sure trying to get out of here in a hurry. This is like some action movie. And it's not over yet. Cena has a match of his own next. That's MVP's necklace. Cena's got MVP's whole world in his hands. It looks like Cena's revenge is complete, JR. I don't think so, King. Something tells me he won't be satisfied until he gets MVP face to face, one on one. MVP's not so easy to catch, though. I think he proved that tonight. MVP can run from Cena, but he can't hide. Joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, after battering MVP and his car last week, John Cena got his wish. The two will face off at WrestleMania. Yes, JR, but Cena's got a match tonight and MVP doesn't. That could tip the scales in the Utopians' favor. With the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania only six days away, anything can happen. Hey, Cena, I just wanted you to know that I won't be there tonight because I'm taking care of better than utopian business. You mean you're hiding for the last six days before WrestleMania, MVP? Oh, yeah, that. Our match at WrestleMania will be held under utopian rules, you know. Yeah, well, I have one condition. We make this an Iron Man match. That way I have plenty of time to impeach you, Mr. President. A guarantee. 15 minutes of kicking your ass around better than Utopian Square? You're on! John Cena definitely looks ready for his match at WrestleMania. It better be, JR. 15 minutes with a man like MVP can take 15 years off your life. Make sure you join us on Sunday for WrestleMania. Good night, everybody.
gentlemen, this is the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler here, ecstatic to welcome you tonight. No other event in entertainment comes close to the excitement level of WrestleMania, JR. And this year's promises to be the biggest one yet. Our main event certainly promises intensity and intrigue as John Cena and MVP will compete in an Iron Man match. Let's look at how this showdown came about. It started at Tribute to the Troops, where MVP lost to John Cena. Along with Umaga and William Regal, MVP actually seceded from the United States, proclaiming himself the president of Better Than Utopia. They ran roughshod over the WWE, even stooping so low as to assault John Cena's military friend who had come home injured. Cena then went on the offensive, taking out the Utopia. Now, he and MVP will square off tonight. Who will emerge victorious? We'll find out.
break!
two, three, four!
I do believe the WWE ring is once again considered U.S. soil. God bless America. Thank you, John Cena. Thank you.